everyone, I'm Ashley Romain. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, you're welcome to sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm going to be trying out the Revline Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. I've been seeing it all over my Instagram and also on TikTok, so I just gave in. It was reasonably priced. It was like maybe $25, so I'm super excited to try this out. I just got off of work, so if I seem a little off, that's why. I'm just very excited to try this out. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and wash my hair. I'm going to blow dry half, I don't know which side yet, half with my normal blow dryer. And I'll detangle my hair before in the shower. And I'll do the other side with the one step and we'll compare to see which side looks better. But before I do that, I'm going to also show you the tools that I normally use on my hair whenever I'm doing it. I try not to put um, heat on my hair often, like pretty much I don't put any heat on my hair at all unless I absolutely have to. But I also hadn't really figured out how to do twist out on my hair and didn't realize originally that I needed to fully blow dry my hair and then put whatever products. So this is my first step in like trying to push myself to do that and get better at doing my own hair at home. So let me show you the tools that I normally use first and then we'll jump right in. This is the detangling brush that I use in the shower while I'm washing my hair. And then this is the hair dryer that I use. And as you can see, it's been used so much that the letters are rubbing off. And it was just a very cheap, like easy to grab hair dryer. And this is what I normally use. All right, y'all. So you can see this side I have blow dried with my normal blow dryer. This side I haven't touched other than trying to towel dry it, which I need to. Okay, it says to towel dry hair to remove excess water, then run a comb through damp hair for best results. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. So I'll use my wide tooth comb and then I will plug in the appliance and set it to the high setting since that's what's suggested for thick hair and to use the cool setting to lock in the style. And also says that for best results, separate hair into manageable sections and dry each section individually. Just run my wide tube comb through it first, which you can see my hair is already, well, I don't wanna to do too much. It's clearly tangled as you can see. It's not like necessarily gliding through my hair yet. But that is what the one step tool is going to be for. I'm going to start with this section right here, the section that's in my hand, and start to separate my hair into different sections. Not plugged in yet. I'm going to set it to the high setting. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna start with it on off and then go to cool, then low, then high. It's cool. Um, I pretty much had it on high for the most part and then I noticed it was starting to get like a little smoky in here my hair was starting to get a little smoky 
So I switched to the cool setting. Um, I do like how my hair dried down on this side. I think also the difference is that I was using like this kind of motion on this side. So maybe if I had combed down, it would have been a little closer to this, but um, I will say it definitely dried my hair a lot faster than my normal hair dryer. And I think that this will be more manageable for when I'm like trying to um, actually style my hair, like for twist outs and whatever else. I'm sorry y'all, but it is really bothering me that my hair looks like this right now. But um, I just wanted to show y'all the difference in like, in how the two methods compare. And I'm really excited to continue to use the one step styler. I think it'll save me some time so that I don't have to detangle my hair while I'm in the shower and I can just detangle it after I towel dry it and am done fully washing my hair. And I think that's super helpful because washing my hair normally takes mm, no less than an hour. And I wanna say the whole process took me maybe about 30 to 45-ish minutes. Um, I'll try to test it out on a different day and give you a more definite answer, which whenever I do that, I'll post it on Instagram. Um, and I'll go ahead and post it on my community tab too. So make sure that you look there for posts coming soon. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the One Step Styler, or if you've purchased it yourself and have your own reviews, be sure to share them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.